so you have come. Whether to aid the house or rain punishment on the Tuatha, I do not know. That you are here is enough. To assuage your confusion, I am Bizarain, king of the house. During your trials, I will observe and communicate to you through this medium. What you do is of no concern to me. What I hope to evaluate is what you are, to know how you might best help the house. I have locked the way behind you. The way forward is your only path out of these halls. I can tell you no more, other than that I will be watching. <laughs> The beast will kill me if you do not help. The beast roamed these halls, mortal. Once these lands were quiet, gentle. Now they mean to kill all that tread upon it, even the Winter Fay. My, my people have lived in peace for decades, centuries. But now we are awash in war and corruption and we cannot stop it. I do not know. The Midden, it has... It's, it has been sullied. We've never feared such assaults until recently. Wait, what was that? It, it is here. <coughs> <coughs> So you have completed your first trial. Your actions spoke volumes, but your reactions are just as pertinent.
You killed the creature that was chasing that woman. Why? Is that all there is to you then? Give you a weapon and give you a foe and be done with it. An attractive quality to be sure. The Winter Fae need more than a champion who can do little else but reap and sow. We are embroiled in a war of subtleties. I need a mind as well as a blade. So the trial will continue. Ahead, you will find a Fae of Sorrows succumbing to poison. Will you stay your blade for him, I wonder? Please, are, are you the mortal that Bizarrain has brought to aid us? The one he has promised. Thank mercy I have been poisoned. But now that you are here, you can kill me. Please end my suffering. I do not know. It is some poison. In other times, the Fae would not be vulnerable to this. But, but we are weaker now. We, we are prone. I could have walked from this once. But now... Please, mortal. I know, I know it's strange, but the Fae are not like you. Death is different to us. I... I will rise once more in time, but killing me will let me escape this suffering. I do not know. Everything is blurred. I do not even know where I am. It must have been him. He does whatever he cares with his subordinates. It was Bizarrain. He was meant to save, save us from the Tuatha, to preserve our oldest traditions, to protect the Winter Fae. You will just let me suffer, cruel. So, you spared the sword. I wonder, was it some sense of honor that stayed your blade? I am the court of Winterfell, who wish to free these lands from the Tuatha, and we have gone too long without new blood. You have demonstrated substantial worth. One trial remains.
have reached this chamber at last. The time of trial is over. No more apparitions, no more questions. The House of Sorrows has always held a precarious position in this world, and now we hold on to it by the tips of our fingers. You think you have broken the Tuatha's grip on Clurakan. You have not. Even now, the Winter Fey and the House of Sorrows are subject to their malice. The House of Sorrows has always existed to preserve and maintain the oldest traditions of winter. We are the essence of these Fey lands. The House holds an authority among the Fey that the Tuatha have always coveted. Now, they finally seek to claim that power for their own. We must conclude your trial. Ready your weapon. You are to strike me down. What you need to do and why you must do it are two very different matters, mortal. I deal in instructions, not explanations. Indeed, perhaps not. Now that your trial has concluded, come with me. The Tuatha have yet to break down our doors, but I would not put that past them. The house is poised to collapse from the Tuatha's dissension and destruction, and I need one to help us. Sam, your reactions were real, but the Fae with whom you interacted, Tybri, Cadorak, and myself, were not. They were but apparitions of the Fae you will come to know in this house. As facsimiles, the apparitions were appropriate enough, but I think you will find their real-world counterparts more complex. Perhaps you will indeed deliver us from them. Or perhaps you will only forestall the inevitable. I suppose we shall learn one way or the other. You are of our house now. The hearthstone I gave you will reflect your affinity with us. Come, join me at the House of Sorrows. I will show you a world stranger than you have ever seen. If we are to discuss the plight of the house, I will do so at his heart. Come, meet me in the main hall of the House of Sorrows, and we will speak more. Hmm. Speak. I listen. Who calls? Greetings. Cause. I have a task for you. Of late, there are many in this house who have come to view my authority with disdain. As such, there is need of someone unbiased by our house's history and the traditions therein. Someone such as you. We must move quickly. The Tuatha will not hold their strikes for long. Let us stop their next blow. You fail to understand. Although the Tuatha wage war with us, as they have with the Alfar, they do so by other methods. Our enemies are subtle. They target individuals, not armies. They strike at convictions, not cities. And by doing so, they can retreat to where we cannot find them. For all our years of struggle, we know only this, that our enemy is led by a Tuatha agent, Saturnin. He is the master of this shadowy coup. Not right now. He hides himself and covers his tracks well. But I have a lead which you will investigate with one of our Delvers, Tybri. A tender, Katarak, has fled the house and killed a fellow member in doing so. I suspect Saturnin's influence. Or, perhaps, that Katarak might be Saturnin himself. Bring Tybri to the body of Katarak's victim. 
Though dead, the Sorrows will remain on the corpse. The Sorrows can lead us to Cataract. There is a tender named Cataract who has fled our ranks. He is somehow tied to Saturnin. I am certain of it. I want you to find him and put an end to him. For if he is not Saturnin himself, then he is betraying our secrets to the Tuatha. Hmm. Mortal, there is... You have been to the Midden, yes? The sacred ground be... Make haste! So, you were the mortal. There were whispers that Bizarin had welcomed one of you amongst us. But to pick the Siege Breaker... I am awed. I, I forget myself. Viserine has made his wishes clear, and we must do as he asks. Are you ready to begin? I am Tybri. I have only two centuries to my name. I was asked to join the house because of my... abilities. I can hear them. The sorrows in people. The essence of decay and ruin that precedes winter. I can even hear the sorrows faintly in you. Few Delvers are left who can hear any sorrows at all, but never have any claim to hear them as much as I. Many believe me to be a liar, or an abomination. Fair enough. We must cross the Midden to reach the body we seek, and there are sure to be difficulties along the way. But we do not have long. Sorrows rarely remain after death, and neither will the body of a Fae. We must move. Farewell. Here, I must begin my work. But the magic is sure to draw the wild fay in the area. Hold them back while I commune with the sorrows. Farewell.
Yes? I just don't. Hadarok's sorrows left a strong impression on the corpse. He is hiding in the Siren Crypt in the Drowned Forest. You should go there, but be wary. The impression Cadorak left on the body was... conflicted. Something is not right here. I will return to the house. With the beast beaten back, it should prove safe enough now. The dead do not speak lies. Cadorak has gone to Siren Crypt in the Drowned Forest. It was once a mighty fortress. But like all things in this war, it was reduced to ruin. Lesser, cruder beasts and beings walk its halls now. For Cadorok to hide there, it makes little sense. But from what the Soros told me, it seems as though he had nowhere else to go. Farewell. Zerain's cat's paw, then? I knew he'd let a mortal into the house's ranks. But this is who he sends to do his dirty work. Fie on him! You may return me to the cycle, but if you ever see your master, tell him this. He will never get his hands on the sorrows. I, all of us, will stop him! <laughs>
finally returned. Much, much has happened since you were away. The house has been sundered. Not by Tuatha, but by ourselves. The house has rebelled. The other members of the house have marched against the Tuatha. I, I am afraid they may have attacked Vizarine. I do not think he is dead, but we must see to him. Sartanen is watching us. I can sense it. If Bizarrain is left undefended... It will be difficult for you to understand, but many did not consider Bizarrain the true king of our house. While many wanted to war with the Tawatha, Bizarrain stayed our hands. And while our house collapsed around us, Bizarrain did nothing. I will not lie. Though I see the value of your presence, many felt that bringing a mortal into our ranks crossed the line. With you, Bizarrain made his final error. He can be difficult to understand, but he is the house's king. Without him, there would be no house of sorrows. I will shadow step into the house to help if he's harmed, but I'm afraid you will have to take the longer route. Go through the proving halls, but be warned, Bulgan roam those corridors now. Saturnin has already started moving to crush us. Farewell. have arrived as Tybri said you would. It is good that you were able to get through the Proving Halls unscathed. But there are greater events at work here. The house may have breathed its last. The rebels have begun a march of folly to make war on the Tuatha. As they said, they are rallying at a fortress called the Fallen Hall. I sought to stay them. They ignored me. I sought to warn them. They paid no heed. For them, the war started when I became the King of Sorrows. And now, my reign ends. Saturnin wants this, mortal. Without leadership, the rebels will be easily picked off. And so it falls to you and Tybri to save them. No, I will not have every last member of my house blundering to their death like a fool. Unlike Fae, Mortals cannot be reborn. You will get your wish, in part. Saturnin will have to reveal himself in some form to attack the rebels. Confronting him is your top, your only priority. 
I have instructed Kyrie to assist you as best she can, but she is not as suited to this work as you, mortal. Look after her. They are in the Fallen Hall. Save who you can, but more importantly, we must learn what we can of Saturnin. Hmm.
Look, that must be the leader. That, that was the leader. It must be Saturnin. And if he's heading in there, that must be where the rest of the House of Sorrows are. We have to get past this door. We need to stop him before the rebels are all killed. I, I cannot. I'm not a warrior like you are. If I enter alone, it will mean nothing. We must stand together against Saturnin. The seals of this hall are strong, but they can be broken. We must find the sigil stones and lock them. Let us make haste. Farewell. are sure to be in there as well. We must get in there if we are to save them. Farewell.
Splendid. I was worried I would have nothing left to see to after I slaughtered these wretches. You are mistaken, little one. I am not Saturnin. Though I can see where you might have made such a mistake, even I have not seen his face. But I have heard his voice, and the orders it carries. And that is enough. Now, let us fight! for you to deliver to your master. This war is over. Soon the sorrows will belong to the Tuatha. Yeah, I can scarcely believe it. All this death, all this destruction, and we have nothing to show for it. No Saturn and no safety. The Weeping King left the world with good cause. For all that is left of the House of Sorrows is ruin. We... we must return to Bizring with this news. He will want to know what has happened here. Farewell.
dealt may be fatal. He need only for us to succumb, and then he can find these sorrows. So that is what we will deny him. Let our losses harden our resolve. Where once we sought victory, we shall now seek attrition. Fae are the embodiment of magic. When a delver takes the burden of winter from a fae, those burdens are in the form of magic. Over centuries, these magics have been collected, contained in a secret location, the sorrows that Saturn seeks. Their location is an ancient secret. Only two Fae, the eldest, know. They left the house centuries ago to reside in Damalrock. The way to them is blocked by the Great Scale, a mighty spell which you must bypass. That alone will open your path to the Eldest. You must kill beasts on the pans of the scale. Death is the only weight it will bear. They know where the Sorrows, Saturnin's true target, reside. To reach them, one must brave the road southward. Hmm.
How curious. You are mortal, but your steps resound with a burden greater than any one mortal might ever hope to bear. More curious still is your presence here. The great scale is not idly moved, nor is my reverie broken without cause. What is your purpose? And so I am finally exhumed, but Bizarain is not the King of Sorrows from whom I hoped to draw summons. Indeed, I know the location of the Sorrows. They were never meant to be retrieved, but neither were they meant to be exploited. Before I go, I must request that you rouse my counterpart, Kaelrod. The ages have sent our paths together. I will not break it now. When we first came to this place, we vowed we would not see each other until our contemplations were complete. I... I thought that day would never come. As I was on one side of the scale, you will find him on the other. I will leave this cell and wait for you to find him. Goodbye. Sorrow precedes you, mortal. It is almost enough to shift the great scale on its own. It has been centuries since my reverie was last disturbed. For what cause are you here? What could a mortal possibly want with me? I have heard of your work in reaching Alarain. If she wishes to aid this King of Sorrows, then I will echo her approval. But learning the location of the Sorrows is not merely answering a question asked. More than knowledge will be needed to reach the Sorrows. We will meet her in time. You must be patient, mortal. Very well. And, and so the eldest look upon each other once more. It has been some time since I have seen Alarine, mortal. For that I am thankful, but Bizarrain will need more than knowledge to reach sorrows. He will need a key which lies in Sincere, the hollow of the Weeping King. That is correct. It is a difficult thing to ask of a mortal. A fay would be better suited to navigate the hollow, but time is fleeting. But you will not perform this task alone. One of us will aid in recovering the key from Sincere, and the other will instruct Bizarrain on how to reach the sorrows. It falls to you to choose. Let it be so. She will accompany you to Sincere, and I will return to the House of Sorrows to instruct Bizarrain on how to claim the Sorrows. I wish you luck in your task, mortal. Keep well after Alarain. Very well. Then we leave Kaelrod to the instruction of this King of Sorrows. It is perhaps the best choice. It is suited to him after all. I will shadow step to Sincere and wait for you there. We must move quickly. Goodbye.
At last, you come, and we can recover the key. I thought... I knew the Tuatha had taken hold of Chloricon, but I never... I never thought it would be like this. When I last walked here, it was a solemn place, but beautiful. Kind Fay tended to the corners and halls. Now it lies silent, corrupted, and sullied. But we cannot dwell on what has transpired. To reach the key to the sorrows, we must first seek three votives in addition to this one. They will grant us passage. Goodbye. all the votives. Then we may continue onward to the next trial we must face, the crying eyes. When we reach them, then I will tell you more on the subject. Goodbye. Here. Come, 
Let us press onward. There is still another challenge to overcome. Before we can reach the key, we must bypass the crying eyes. Then the key to the sorrows will be ours again. Goodbye. <laughs> hollow was first shaped, those statues did not weep. But now they weep for all eternity. They alone guard the way to the key. You must approach them, mortal. They will show you the way forward, if only you answer them. Approach the crying eyes and observe. They show you the knowledge you need to advance. Answer what they ask, and we shall be free to continue. Goodbye. to the sorrows mortal it is perhaps not the sort you are used to but that is certainly it it is a branch of the ancient and wizened tree whose roots touch this world and ashara the plane of magic to which all fey belong it is a branch of the gallows tree the sorrows take the form of the gallows tree in both realms and this branch creates the bridge between them come let us ferry it to bizarang goodbye to the sorrows. That was well done. Indeed, everything you have done is more than I could have possibly hoped for. My reliance on you to this point was never my initial plan. I only needed Cadarock dead at the hands of someone else. But when I learned how willing you were to hound the Tuatha, I saw you would rise to every occasion. You became my faithful instrument. And you continually demonstrate your most valuable quality. Your inability to understand the Fae. Do you think that I was without potential servants within this house? That I was forced to wait until you came? No. I had many options at my disposal. But a mortal would know nothing of a Fae's behavior, his values, his reasoning. A mortal might never learn that Saturnin and I are one in the same. True, I do not share the face of my brethren. As I explained to Gadflo, it was a necessary part of the plan. I have not worn this mask without sacrifice. 
Too long have I gone without feeling the warmth of Prismir or the love of my god. But soon, soon this will end, and I can take my rightful place again. Your ignorance of Fey culture, meaning your intonation, made you ideal. You lacked the context others might have used to expose me. But there is more. You are the hero of Mel Sanchir. You may not admit it, but you are a symbol to mortals, a rallying point for their armies. Who better to be the blade that I used to kill the Alfar? Who better to destroy the House of Sorrows? It makes my triumph complete. Perfect. You seriously think your words might stir me to forsake a plan that has finally culminated after 20 years? Your audacity disgusts me. There is nothing to be offered or given or threatened, mortal. I cannot be stopped here, and I cannot be followed. But take heart. You will die long before the sorrows descend upon the minds of your mortal armies. Mercer will gut you here. Farewell. Hmm. Better or worse, I know not. The house is in ruins, the eldest lie butchered, and Bizarain has betrayed us to the Tawatha. He must be denied, for our honored sorrow, our broken pride, our due vengeance. He cannot be allowed to use the house for war. He is at the birthplace of summer and winter, where the Weeping King first pooled the anguish and decay inherent in all winter fay, Ashara. It is the plane from which all Fae descend when they are reborn, and to which they return when they die. It is a place of pure magic. I fear you may have had enough of secrets, but here is mine. I am the Weeping King reborn. Bizarre needed a key to reach the Sorrows. I do not. I, I do not know what will happen if I attempt to bring you into Ashara, but you have a strong will. That alone may save you. Bizarin has a head start on us. However short, it is likely still enough. Be on your guard. We must hurry. You. You have a strong force of will. Stronger than I felt possible. I have never heard tell of a mortal that could stand in Ashara. But we are here. I... I can recall now. Vaguely. I walked this place before, and shaped the ground. That tree in the center, it is the embodiment of the sorrows. Bizarain will be there, but he has prepared himself. This barrier keeps us from him, and there are other magics at work. You may be right, Mortal. If we strike at weak points, the barrier will fall. Now let us go. We must hurry. We... we meet again, mortal. Can I... can I truly be here, standing before the sorrows? I remember... no... no swords. Fire. And then... and then... nothing. But he brought me back to... fight you. 
I cannot... Res I can't. I'm sorry, mortal. So, so sorry. <laughs> Tread here. A mortal dare shows himself in the sacred lands of the House of Sorrows. I have been dead a short time, and already I learned so much since he raised me. You are the cause of all this. Bizarrain relied on you for his plans. Because of you, the house is dead. <laughs> must admit, I did not give you credit when last we faced each other, and now I am here. My master has raised me to protect his labors, and I will oblige him. You may have bested me previously, but you will not do so again. Perhaps if I take your head here, my master will have faith in me once again. Shall we find out? Oh. 
must be quick. And so you have finally reached me. I have waited, mortal. The longest of any I have waited. And now, Bizarrain has raised me against my will to be part of his design. I sought to stop him. I found the plan he had conspired, and I fled the house, for I knew not what to do. But I could have stopped this scheme. And then you came and killed me. And now I am a puppet to his will. He cannot be stopped, mortal. Bizarrain cannot be stopped. <laughs> You have slain what vestiges of your past I could conjure, and the barrier has fallen. So now, we are here. You think your presence here can stay my spells? The last words have been uttered. You are too late to stop me. You are a thousand years too late to steer me from the path I have chosen. And now, it lays completed. But you may take heart, little mortal. For now, you and your weeping king occupy my full attention. We must be...
must Bizarin may be dead, but the death blow is still his. The sorrows have already begun escaping their seal. We need to act quickly, or this will all be for nothing. I must seal the sorrows within myself. I... I do not know for sure. I will be forced to remain in Ashara, lest the sorrows break free once more. Whether I will live or die is unclear. But... but I cannot be afraid. It must be done. For the good of mortals. For the good of Fae. I... it is a noble sentiment, mortal. But you do not understand. They must be anchored in Ashara, and you cannot remain here. Only I can. But please, bear witness to this last act. Tell the world what happened here, how the House of Sorrows ended. We must hurry.